Glad you're with me this morning. I'm Francis Rivera. We begin with breaking news. Israel has launched a ground operation in southern Lebanon. The IDF says it is conducting, quote, limited, localized, and targeted ground raids against Hezbollah. U.S. officials say the Israelis have told them that the incursion is expected to last for days, not weeks. For the latest, let's turn to Claudio Lavanga. Good morning, Claudio. What more are the Israelis saying about the operation? Good morning, Francis. Well, Israel says that the targets of this ground operation are Hezbollah infrastructures located in villages close to the border uh, with Lebanon uh, that they say pose an, imme an imminent threat to the Israeli communities living in the north of Israel and that the goal is to allow these uh, Israeli communities to return uh, to their homes safely. Now, as you mentioned, um, they call this a targeted ground uh, offensive. Also, we believe that it's going to last days and not weeks, but uh, nevertheless, the escalation of uh, of the uh, conflict and this new turn uh, raises even more fears that this could lead to a, a wider regional war. Also, um, the, the name targeted ground operation has been received with some sort of skepticism by those who remember the last time um, Israel launched a targeted ground operation that was in Rafah uh, back in, in the south of Gaza back in May. That led anyway, even if it was targeted to many civil, multiple civilian casualties as well as widespread uh, distraction and distraction that more than 1,700 people have already, have already died uh, and have been killed inside uh, Lebanon since the start of the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel raises even more fears that uh, this targeted ground operation could lead to a collateral damage, including civilian uh, casualties. Now, the U.S. in the meantime, uh, well, the U.S. Um, Secretary uh, um, of Defense uh, Lloyd Austin uh, said that the um, U.S. is prepared to protect its U.S. personnel in the area as well as the allies from threats posed by Iran and organizations uh, backed by Iran, like, of course, Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, and uh, the Houthi, and said, and I quote, that the, they are determined to prevent any actor from exploiting, uh, exploiting tensions and expanding the conflict, Francis. Okay. Claudio, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.